Hello there! And welcome back to another video! Now, if you've watched my videos week by week, this might look very familiar because I just made a speed paint video about this piece last week. But I have a point in making two videos regarding the same piece because this piece right now because last week i just talked about this piece in specific and like the process for it but this video i'm using this piece as an example as something i do for most like kind of more rendered more advanced kind of digital paintings that i do but it's like very like useless i'm calling it my useless artist habit i think you can tell that from the title but i'm calling it my useless artist habit because last week i had the whole piece like the whole start to finish of making this painting in one video and it was like less than 10 minutes long and that was like four hours of work in less than 10 minutes this is 20 minutes and 10 roughly it's like nine or something i don't know so this is 20 minutes of work at like twice the speed something like that but it's just like so much time like this is 10 percent or something like that of the entire process is doing these weird like after effects or like finishing effects and stuff like that like right now what i'm working on is like gradient maps and then i like put little and what i did before now was trying to add blue like highlights to the bouquet to add more attention to the bouquet but it's just i'm fiddling around with these like layer effects and i put like it looks super drastic and usually you can't tell this when i speed it up more when I'm like, usually when I do like four hours and 15 minutes sort of thing, you can't see it, you see a lot of like weird things flashing and then things change very lightly. But this is why I wanted to make this video where it's slowed down almost real time. And I'm just showing you the amount of time, cause this is still sped up by the way, uh, the amount of time that I just spend on these like effect things. So right now I'm just messing with gradient maps and the layer effects, but then if you look really closely, you'll be able to see that that layer was at 20% opacity and then later on I turn it down even further like this piece actually wasn't as bad for this useless artist habit of mine but like I spend so much time doing all these little tweaks and like these little color arrangements and these little contrast arrangements and like uh, this here is blurred this here is not like right now what I'm doing is I'm making selection I'm feathering the selection and then blurring what's inside the selection to control sorts of what stands out and what doesn't but then i go and i turn the opacity down like way down well this time i didn't turn the opacity down i used a layer mask so i make it show up only a little bit in the parts where i want it to show up but basically as i spent four minutes or something making elements of the background blurry just to hide most of that to make it only show up a little bit and i'm just like why do I do this? And I, like, honestly, it's kind of like my favorite part of the whole painting. But at the same time, it's sort of like really weird to be spending as much time on these things. And again, like this layer we're currently on is like, it went really fast, but it was like less than 30% opacity. You barely see these things. And sometimes it gets even worse than that, because if you can look at the layers, you can see that the gradient masks I have grouped into one group and a lot of the times I group these effect layers and then they're already each individual thing is already down to like 10 to 20 percent opacity and then I group them and then I turn the group down to 50 percent opacity so then it goes from like 10 percent to 50 percent of 10 percent to five percent so then why did I spend time doing this if it's only going to be showing up five percent and then like it's just so many of them and again I was spending like 20 25 minutes on this and this piece was quick i'm just gonna emphasize that this piece was quick on the ending effects if i had because a lot of the times i back up my raw video files into my extended hard drive because honestly i've got like two terabytes worth of videos at this point i've been making videos for a long time so i if i had more of them on my computer i would have shown them but this was a very quick one and i still spent like 20 minutes doing things that then i turned down the opacity for like major big time a lot of the times i use like textures and then gradients and then effects and then a noise layer and then I, like i always pick up new like the noise layer i got from keenan lafferty which is a youtube channel that i watch a lot ross draws does this 
weird one. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. I remember what it is, but I don't remember what it's called. But I did that one a couple times, and it's just a lot of different things. Well, this one is kind of useful. This is like if you ever heard of flipping your canvas uh, to see what's wrong with it. This is a good one to figure out your values. You just uh, make a new layer that's uh, white, black, grey, any colour really, and then you set the layer mode to colour, and then it makes everything uh values within that color so basically just made the piece temporarily black and white just to see if uh the things that i want to be clear are clear and the things that i don't want to be clear kind of just go in the background just also to make sure things are balanced so that was a good one to do as like a checking thing and then i end up like hiding it and deleting it after that sort of thing but yeah it's just so much of so see here I went and I grouped everything and then I duplicated that and then I blurred it and then I turned it to hard light and then I lightened it and then I don't think I'm gonna end up using this at all or if I do it's at like 1% or whatever very light so turning it on and off see if I like it and then oh no wait I don't like it delete it or I edit it or something like that and yeah I don't know it's just it's a very bad artist habit to just sync so much time and again this was a quick one sometimes I have a couple ones where I've spent like an hour and a half doing this little tweaks that in the end if you compare it to what it looked like before the tweaks you can barely tell the difference like it's just not even there and oh, I don't know it's just I thought it was kind of funny and I think that some of you fellow digital artists might have similar stories of just spending forever on the fi like finishing touches finishing effects and stuff and like I think it's fair that if we have these tools at our disposal we should use them and I do think that overall they enhance the piece and I do benefit like because I use Photoshop for uh, school and work and those kind of things and actual photos for like actual um, things that require Photoshop for not just illustration like the fact that I know how to use these tools so well really comes in handy like the levels gradient maps and uh, color balance selective color tweaks and all that kind of thing like it does end up becoming super useful knowing how to use them, and then I, I've learned how to use them through using them within my artworks which are kind of you know where I learned on my Photoshop in general so it, it's good to like know how to use them but I just feel like it's just super stupid that I spend so long doing things that have such little like effect on the piece as a whole and then like this is what like the fifth gradient map i don't even know and i don't even know what like layer style i put it to like hard light i don't know soft light whatever it's just i don't know i find it kind of like silly whatever and i just i don't know i felt like making a video about it because i i, I hope that there are people out there who do the same thing like i kind of misery loves company you know just don't want to be the only one that's wasting time on these finishing effects and then here is like if you've seen last week's video then this just this doesn't really fit into the like finishing effect things which is why I sped it up a lot more but yeah I just added some butterflies and effects on top of butterflies and whatever whatever but yeah that's that's kind of my artist confession that I have this really useless artist habit where I spend like at least 20% of the time that a piece took me just adding finishing especially like if I've done like a really quick painting type thing but then it's like full color and it has a background. Like I don't tend to do these as much when I don't have that significant of a background because I find that the finishing effects are most helpful when you're trying to blend your background in with whatever it is you're doing in the rest of the piece. But yeah, I don't know, man. I just think it's like really funny that I spend so long on these things that in the end are like 99%. You can't see them. But yeah, that's basically it for this week. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of video that's just a little bit more casual. It's not like a full painting, something you haven't seen before and stuff like that. And yes, please let me know if this is something that you also do because I really need the reassurance that I'm not the crazy one that just spends too long playing around with the effects and stuff on my drawing program. Uh, I am happy with how that piece turned out though. And I think that the the 20 minutes that I wasted fiddling around with it was worth it. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.